They may be whacking each other on the loading screen, but they're the best of friends in reality. Or maybe they just tolerate each other. What's up everyone, my name is Don, and today we are going to be returning to River City. Honestly, I feel you, Misako. I feel ya. Today we're going. Oh, yeah, and this title screen music is way better than the first game's music, by a long shot. Anyway, welcome to River City Girls 2, the long awaited sequel to 2019 or maybe it was 2018's River City Girls. I don't know, time passed me by really quickly. Let's go get a burger. I'm starving. So, you guys were here the whole time? Yes. Even tough guys need me time. Whatever. You're treating us to lunch now. Hey, we didn't agree to that. Get in, dummy. We've been watching you, sis. You really screwed up this time. Come on, let's go see Pops. I mean... Our beloved father, the man who single-handedly built up the San Wakai Empire from nothing, decides to put his daughter in charge of things while he does a short stretch in the local pen. The very shortest of incarceration vacations. And what does this daughter do? She gets her ass handed to her by a pair of teenage girls. Oh, and also allows them to take down our entire syndicate in the process. A pair of schoolgirls! I gotta be honest, Sabi, I can't think of anything more embarrassing. I mean, you really blew this one, you know? Hey, he's kinda got a point. Obviously, Dad should've left me in charge. I'm sure he sees that now. Sure, you're his blood and all, but sometimes, blood don't run so deep. Of course, I'm sure he'll fix that right now. I gotta be honest, I've been waiting my whole life for you to face plant like this. I might even take a selfie to commemorate the moment. Here she is, Pop. Found her in the trash, literally. I mean, she was actually lying in a pile of- Oi! Yes, sir. You got it, Pops. I hate it when you call me that. Sabuko, daughter. Is what your brother says true? Did you bring shame on our family? On our organization? I thought you would be ready. I thought you'd be more reliable than your screw-up brother, Ken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong! <laughs> it's time to take matters back into my own hands. Oh, man, that was epic. I mean, I knew he was going to embarrass the crap out of you, but that was bad. <laughs> ah, crap. I forgot to take a selfie. Oh, crap, we're late for class. It's not my fault. You were the one who wanted to stop for double chocolate donuts. Okay, it's sort of my fault. Oh, damn it, Kyoko! <laughs> Welcome back to school. Not even sure how long this takes place after the first game. Hell, it might even be the day after the events of the first game, so... Eh. Oh, and already there's lockers tipped over. All these lockers are in the way! Stupid lockers! So jump over them. Yeah, jump over them, person who's never played a brawler. Anyway, the school stage is set up differently. Yes, I know. I know there's a block button. And you can get a perfect parry if you time the block with an incoming punch. 
and I think it's easier to perfect parry in this game compared to the first one. Miss Megumi! What were your children doing out of class? Did you not hear the bell? No, but that's probably because we got here after it rained. We're like super late today. What? Fault thing? Hmm. Hurry to your desk and watch yourselves. I'll be keeping a knife on you. Don't you mean I? That's what I said. Are you questioning me? Perhaps this would be best discussed after hours in the principal's office. Uh, no, we're good. One of us just has cheese in their ears. I'm a very messy eater. We won't be late next time, Miss Megumi. Oh, I'm sure of it, children. Tardiness won't be tolerated. That's gonna be one week detention. What? That's not fair. Who is this guy anyway? Talking back to a teacher. Another week. You can't do that. Yeah, we just wanted donuts. I can do whatever I want, being that my family runs this school now. Well, I don't even know who you are, so take your detention and cram it. They were very delicious donuts. And now you're expelled. Ryuji? Ryuichi? Would you mind showing these students the window? What's with the K-pop crew? Don't you mean show us the door? Nope. Well, lucky for you, we don't suffer fall damage! Ooh, still looks like falling hurts like a bitch, though. Well, at least we finished the school stage quicker this time. What do you mean? Nothing. Attempted meta humor. Something super weird is going on at the school. Like, more than usual, I mean. No doubt. Should we find out what's up? That sounds exhausting. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. Let's go back to my place. Maybe if we play some video games, we'll think of a solution. That should only take a day or two. I mean, come on. Kyoko and Misako are quick thinkers. What can possibly... Oh, hell no. How's your video game going? Great, Mom! Don't miss that power-up! Right, got it! Were you two planning on taking a break sometime this month? Why bother? Yeah, those crummy Yakuza took over our school. No point in ever going back there. Well, I did hear a sequel to Vampire Puncher was just released. What?! This morning, in fact. That game store at the mall should have a few copies. And here we are still playing the original like a pair of chumps. Yeah, everyone knows that sequels are always better. Let's get to the mall before they sell out. Have fun, kids. Try not to kill anyone. Can't really promise you that. Oh, and also, say goodbye to your previous power-ups and special moves. Because you lost them while sitting on the couch. And it's sad, really. It seems like Cal Kestis is the only one that does not sit on his ass. Kestis! Anyway, here's a hideout, and whenever you're at a hideout, you'll be brought back to full health and swap between characters. Those chumps finally decided to show their faces again. We were all paid good money to make sure you don't get in the way again. That does not stop people from camping outside your house and wanting to beat the ever-loving crap out of you as soon as you step outside. Anyway, we got average teenage delinquent. Wait, these guys don't look like Yakuza. I want my money back. I thought we were fighting the Yakuza. Did Misako just say bring it around town? Misako, this is not the time for Spongebob memes. But your three-hit combo still remains as well as your heavy attack. In Misako's case, it's a headbutt. Get our game and get back here as fast as possible. Can we maybe not do the fast part? My tummy doesn't feel so hot. Yeah, mine either. Maybe we shouldn't have sat on the couch for two months straight. Ugh, my previous XP. Why eat all that junk food? I can't even remember how to fight. Guess we'll have to relearn everything. Learn? Ugh, didn't we get expelled so we don't have to learn anymore? You know, the girls say that they ate junk food and they lost their previous EXP, but in this game, you have to eat junk food in order to gain EXP and stats. Make it make sense. <laughs> This is River City Girls, where logic goes completely out the window. And there's a familiar face over there by the name of Kauri. Let's see how she's doing. Hey, it's Kauri! Oh, hi! Nice running into you two. Where are you headed? To the mall 
Well, it seems. Ooh, when you get there, you should try their new mocha durian wheatgrass smoothies. That sounds disgusting. It is. Well, we're looking for the game store. Know where it is? Video games or tabletop games? Table what? We don't need furniture. No, it's like with game boards and D20s and little Peter figures of elves and warriors. I understand maybe three of those words. Never mind. Video game store is at the other end of the mall. I'll mark it on your phone. Thanks. Don't get beat up, okay? Later, Kauri. Wait, you guys don't want to hang for a while first? No! <sighs> they never want to hang. Nobody likes you, Kauri. I don't, I don't even think you like yourself. That was the perfect parry in action. And this woman's blocking me. Come on, get out of here. Anyway, you do have two social media-esque apps in the form of Honker and... I forgot the second one uh, is eluding my mind. But Honker is basically your mission objective screen. And it's kind of a play off of Twitter. Or X. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it Twitter. Who the fuck calls it X? Oh right, the person who bought the company. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, we have to go east. Snapper, that was the second social media, it was Snapper. A play off of Instagram. Honestly, I've not used X slash Twitter or Instagram in a long ass time. There's just no need. There's too much drama and I hate drama. Anyway, I'm running past most of the enemies, but if you get into a screen lock, you have to fight them. But for the most part, you can just ignore everybody. Would I recommend it? Well, if you want to get a move on, sure, but if you want experience, then you might have to kill some people. Or knock them out. I forgot to mention, this game is rated E10, so we're not killing people, we're just smacking them in the face until they lose consciousness. That hole on the right side of the screen? You just disappear if you fall down there, you, you don't die at all. <laughs> Masako's stupid one-liners whenever she kicks somebody's ass are just hilarious. Even in context, some of those one-liners don't even make sense. Buy something. Here's the shop feature, which has been a staple since the first River City Ransom game. Nice the greater one. Kunio game nice franchise, or River City franchise. What is this franchise even called? <laughs> you eat different types of foods in order to gain different types of stats. And eating the same food twice will not grant you another point in that same stat. At any point after that first bite, it will just grant you that health regain. That's it. You have new enemy types in the Luchadors, and they are, I, I would say they're about average. They don't do that much damage, but they do have a couple of slam abilities where they just pile drive you into the ground. Which can be annoying, but they're pretty easy to deal with. The recruit system makes a return. Ah, Misako, you just killed that man. He was begging for his life. But whenever you see an enemy begging, which usually means they're the only opposition left on screen, uh, you can recruit them. You just walk up and grab them, then press R2. Simple as that. Though sometimes I'm feeling a bit vindictive and I want to kill them just because. <laughs> Am I feeling vindictive? No, I have a heart. Enemies making a return from the first game, Yakuza members, male and female. The guy will shoot Hadoukens, which are unblockable and will cause massive damage if they touch you. And the woman will sometimes throw shurikens at you. And I leveled up, so I just got Masako's Stone Fist abilities, which he had in the previous game. It's a three-hit combo that pushes Masako forward, but has massive knockback if it connects. And the connecting hitbox is rather large too, I would not sleep on this ability. Oh, hey! You two heading inside the mall? Stranger danger! <laughs> she looks so mad! It's you, Bob. Some Yakuza gang apparently took over all the stores. Even the fashion stores? We're here for a video game, remember? Even the video game store? I guess. Never stop there. But they got that whole mall locked down. Why are you telling us this? Well, it looks like you two could use some protection. That's a laugh. Yeah, we beat up like everyone in town. Impressive! Well, if you need another pair of fists and you got some cash, drop by any time. I'll help you clear that whole place of Yakuza's gun. Hmm. We'll keep it in mind. Something new to the sequel are hired henchmen who are just 
better recruits. <laughs> That's about it. They're just better recruits. I might hire one of them, but I just end up saving my money for something more useful. And there's definitely a lot more useful features in this game other than hired henchmen. Oh, hello. You can store your sweets okay. and other delectable items for those essential boss okay. moments. I don't think you could do that in the original game. Or if you could, then it was only one item. In this game, you can hold on to at least eight items. And you can swap between them by moving the right stick. You're not going shopping right now. We're here for one video game, then back home. Fashion doesn't just happen, you know. You have to work. And now, try working and clobbering these henchmen with me. Yeah, okay. Not gonna lie, this song is happening right now. <laughs> this is a pretty catchy tune. This song is called I Am Better Than You and appropriately named because I think the song is better than 90% of the songs from the first game. At least from the vocal tracks. The chip tune music from the first game is not bad. I'm so grounded. Dude, you're like 35! You're a mall cop! Do mall cops get grounded too? I, I did not know that. Buy something or leave, okay? Yeah, you're a bitch too. Anyway, we got accessory shops. These will give your characters certain quirks, like your heavy attacks being heavier. That, that's not me saying that, that's the game. And last but not least, music. There are music shops in the game where you can buy soundtracks. And it's not limited to this game. I think you can buy tracks from River City Ransom and other Kunio games. Yeah, it is from other games, because a tough fight, I remember that being the boss tune from Ransom. It went like It actually sounded menacing for 8-bit music, I'm not gonna lie. That's definitely some great boss tunes right there. <laughs> I'm not sure if any tracks from Double Dragon make an appearance here. They're definitely in the same universe, but I think it's just strictly the Kunio related stuff. Which is a shame because I like Double Dragon music, especially Neons. Your fist hurt my face. Wait, wait, wait. Did Masako just say you don't even go here? It's a free country, lady. <laughs> and also, I'm doubly confused because my fist hurt his face even though we're using a bench. The, okay, the bench is not a perpetrator here. The bench hurt your face. I'm just merely the messenger. <laughs> okay, I'm Sephiroth. Bye. Oh, another good thing about this sequel is that you can actually juggle enemies in the air. Even though it's kind of hard to do because you have to time it well. Oh, and also Pew Color King has entered the building. Let's give him a round of applause, shall we? Next stop, the video game store. Oh, OMG, look what's playing at the movie theater. We really shouldn't. Please. Okay, next stop, a movie. Then, the video game store. Yes. Ah uh, yes, I would definitely love to see something. <laughs> that would be a good movie. I don't know what that other movie on the right side is. An evil Cabin? I don't know what that's supposed to be referencing. But something? You bet your ass I know what something is referencing. Oh lord! You can pretty much throw any object you pick up at people. It depends on the object though. If you're carrying a dumpster and you throw it, then it's just gonna fly in an arc. We meet again, huh? Ew, it's that weird teacher from school. The one that expelled us. And threw us out a window. Oh yeah, not cool, dude. The name's Ken, and my father, Sabu, runs this town now. He's the mayor? I didn't know he had a mayor. He's not the mayor. He's the head of the San Wakai criminal organization. Aren't criminals not supposed to refer to themselves as criminals? Eh, I'm not one for pomp and circumstances. 
pom-poms and circus dances? You two shamed my family by defeating my embarrassing sister in battle. Suzu? Habari? Noise? Sabuko. Oh, she was my next guest. Yeah, mine too. So now, I've been tasked by my father to humiliate and defeat the two of you in that order. I humiliated you by expelling you from your school. <laughs> Seriously? I don't even go to that school. <laughs> that What's line is still funny. What's humiliating about getting a two-month vacation from books and learning? True that. Anyway, now it's time to kill you both for my uh, father's plan, which is now unfolding. I mean, you can try. But that usually doesn't work out too well for people. Oh, we shall see. Time to die, kiddos. I can't. <laughs> okay, I can't stop laughing now. Here's Ken's boss fight. If you play River City Girl Zero, or as it was originally titled Chin Katsukoa, then you may remember this guy. This is not the same Ken as that game though. This guy is a bona fide bitch. So Ken here is a really, really weak boss. He doesn't even fight himself, he just uses his gun and his henchmen to fight for him. The good thing is for a first boss, most of his attacks are very, very slow, and you get carry him with no problem. Or when he does unblockable attacks like the gunfire, you could just casually walk away from it. It's a far cry from the Zero game, I'm telling you. Ken in that game was one of the harder bosses. It was mostly because your other two characters in that game, under circumstances, or I'm sorry, circus dances, got shot. So you have to deal with Ken with the first two players. I did a playthrough of River City Girl Zero on my channel last year. If you want to check it out, by all means. It's a good look into where the series has gone from there. I mean, it originally came out in 1994. Ow, okay, speaking of, if that was River City Girl Zero, I probably would have been dead. Or at least close to dead, because bullets do a fuck ton of damage in that game. I don't know about that, mate. You, you just suck at life. And my day is ruined because of that. Here's this desperado attack in which he sprays a screen full of bullets. Which are easy to dodge, mind you. And this boss tune is also happening. This is my favorite tune in the game, actually. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's like the beginning sounds a lot like Crash Man. But then everything else just turns into Cowboy Bebop. And the music track also takes a couple of notes from A Tough Fight, the music I was talking about earlier from River City Ransom. They seriously did not need to go this hard on the music. They went too hard on the music. Alright, it's time to wave the white flag of defeat, Ken. Oh, come on! Goddamn FBI. Ugh, well this move is just a time waster. He throws grenades at your current location. That's about it. You're just waiting for him to get his ass back down here so you can sock him. You messed with the wrong family. Oh, you two aren't half bad. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, we told you. Maybe he's got wax in his ears. He does look a little grimy. Allow me to put a bullet between yours. Between our what? Eyes, maybe? Ears! Between your ears? You just said ears, so that's why I'm gonna shoot you now. Maybe he does got wax in his ears. A bullet between the ears? That's not a saying. <laughs> <sighs> Apparently there's more of you than I expected. Whatever. Ken out! Well, that was confusing. Yeah, I'm not even so sure that guy is a teacher, you know? What's it say? Guess we're headed back to North Ravine Lane. I don't think I said this in the original game, or Zero for that matter, but the animated manga panels are pretty nice. So, who do you think it was that stopped Ken from killing 
dangerous. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Yes, we got Masako's rolling punch back. This is one of her more useful abilities. It's a dash strike where you roll into a ball and then do a punch at the end. Very useful, it gives you plenty of iframes. Anyway, I'll see you in part two.